I know that most of you already been in one of Disney's attraction parks and I know that all of you have an opinion about it, but let's see if my opinion is matching your opinion. And at the same time hopefully I can show something new for everyone who never been in a Disney World or Disneyland. Somewhere in this video I will share what is the secret of a Disney trip, but to figure that out, keep watching. Let's go! Alright, well what's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys already guessed it, I'm in Disneyland because I'm a huge freaking kid. I'm in Disney World because I'm a huge freaking kid. Freaking kid. And there was a beep, something that I cannot do in here. But uh, let's stop the talking part and I will just jump into a, an improvised B-roll. So last year I went to New York City, this year I came to Disneyland, Disney World, Orlando and um, I was trying to improvise a short b-roll sequence right there but I'm not sure how is it coming out because it's a lot of people and a lot of craziness happening out here and uh, and uh, I'm not sure what can I even record but the main thing why I'm here is because I want to see Disney World um, during Christmas. The Christmas lights and the Christmas feeling in in like 70 degree Fahrenheit. It's just like it's like 25 Celsius. It's crazy. I'm t-shirt, everybody's freezing back in Pennsylvania but I'm still good and I'm still still happy here because you know I don't have to wear a winter jacket. I mentioned the warmth here and for a Transylvanian kid like me traveling somewhere during winter where it's warm is the best thing that can happen. And then I also mentioned that a lot of people can, can cause nightmares because there were a million people. I tried to make this really magical but it's a lot of people here and <laughs> it's just <laughs> too much. But at least I had the opportunity to record everything because everything looked cinematic in Disneyland. I mean, you know, Disneyland <laughs> like this. I guess you guys already seen it from the B-roll. This is the Robinson Crusoe 3. <laughs> this is like a huge tree house, similarly that was in a movie or a cartoon. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't really feel that this is like Robinson Crusoe's house. I feel like this is more like a Tarzan's parents' house because I don't really think that Robinson Crusoe was staying on a freaking tree. But okay. Just to save myself in here, uh, I I think Disney knows this better, but whenever I was reading the Robinson Crusoe book I thought he was shipwrecked on a tropical island and this tree makes no sense why is this tree on the tropical island. It looks great though, but this is not how I imagined when I was reading the book. I really feel like the only reason why I went up to come down. <laughs> not like I was complaining, but I was complaining. What is that? So that was the Pirates of Caribbean ride, which is a pretty slow ride, but obviously when I'm here with the big camera, I will not go on any, any fast rides. It's because of the camera, not because I'm a p***. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I will come back tomorrow with probably a GoPro and uh, I will try all the fast rides. Here's a clip from tomorrow. But today I will just stick to the slow ones and to the more cinematic shots. And that was the Winnie the Pooh ride, because you know, my childhood. Yeah, don't forget that the place where I'm coming from is like 50 years back in time. So all the TV shows and all the cartoons that I used to watch as a kid are probably the same exact ones that your grandparents used to watch when, when they were a kid. <laughs> and even though my interest was old school, this is not what gave me the biggest headache. I keep wondering why am I taking pictures and videos at a place where the most pictures are taken in a full year. Well, because I'm here. <laughs> uh, I guess the only person who will watch this video is my mom. Hey mom. And that's how it goes. It starts raining and this is the best time of the whole day. Nobody's... I mean there's not a lot of people so you can just walk while vlogging, you know? I can be like really freestyle here and just talk to the camera because look at this face. It's all mine. <laughs> And unfortunately, even though it was a lot warmer down there, it got dark at the same time, just like in PA. So, you know. So I was really excited to come here to Disneyland just because of the fireworks and the night show. And now I just realized that my lens will probably not be strong enough to, to record this. But let's see if I can do a short, long B-roll out of it. So, nighttime B-roll challenge in Disneyland starts right now. And now that I'm editing this video exactly after one month, I just laugh and I remember all the cool stuff that I saw in Disney. And this is probably what a lot of families are doing before they are thinking about their next trip. They look at their happy pictures and this is why they are going back every single year to Disney. Now let's make this a bit easier for you. If you've never been in a Disney attraction park, go! This is a must once in a lifetime. And of course your kids will want to go back, because you never took them anywhere else. So, if you've already been in Disney, it's time to go somewhere else. Go to, go to the Caribbean or go to Europe or, or take a trip with a, with a cruise. Just go. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing of your trip is not Winnie the Pooh or Mickey the Mouse. The most important thing of your trip is that you spend more time with your family and you will have more memories to look back when you're gonna be old. And I think this is the secret of Disney and this is the secret of all the trips. And with this said, just press all the buttons down there and see you when you're gonna be a week older. See you next week. Bye-bye.